Hi, Alan Margo for CleverTennis.com. In today's show, we're going to look at the 3-5 to 4-0 level and a common circumstance that happens to players when returning a second serve in a pressure situation. So here's the scenario. You're playing doubles and you're on serve. Everybody's holding. The match is tight. Your opponents have big serves and they poach well, but you're hanging with them. Finally, you get a break point. It's at out. You're set point and you're thinking, all right, here's my chance. Let's watch. Here you are playing doubles and the score is 4-5, 30-40, set point, and you are the receiver. Your opponent misses her first serve. Here's your chance. She hits her second serve. You wind up, you step into the return, and whack right into the net. Don't you just hate that? So what happened? The common error here is the receiver steps into the return and leans forward, dropping the shoulders, causing the racket to face downward, and the ball hits the top of the net. Ouch! Hey, we've all been there. You get the second serve and you're thinking, all right, set point, make a good return, get the ball in play. So you get ready and centered and your feet dig in and you grow roots and you lean forward to hit rather than moving. What up with that? Well, you told yourself to get the ball in play. And the way the body works when you say that is it digs in, gets centered, so it makes sure it gets the ball over to start the point. It's human nature. The tighter the situation, the less the feet want to move and the more they dig in. So the clever key here is to continue moving forward after you've made contact. Here you see Trish centering on her right foot and stepping into the ball, then bringing her back foot forward through the shot, maintaining her centered and upright position. So, to hit a good return off that second serve in a pressure situation, keep moving through the whole shot. Step into the ball and bring your back leg forward as part of your follow through. Then take a couple of steps which will keep you centered and balanced. All right, in this next video, you're playing doubles, you're the receiver, and you've got an active net man in front of you. The server has a good serve, she's got mean ground strokes, and it's tough to get into the net. She's good. So what are you gonna do, call tennis busters? I don't think so. Here's a tactic you can use to change all that. Here's the deal. Let's say you're receiving serve and you've got an active net man in front of you who can cut off the return, cover the lob, and smash a good overhead. Or maybe the server stays back and has great ground strokes. And when you come in behind your return, she's able to hit it hard at your feet or even pass you. They are good. So one way to neutralize these players and get control of the point is to hit the return out of the opponent's comfort zone or where she likes to strike it. Hit the ball deep and high to the server. You can lob it if you want, but get the ball up here somewhere where she's got to back up and deal with the ball that's above her head. The receiver hits the return high and deep to the server, pushing her back and forcing her to lob the return back to you. In the meantime, you and your partner are moving into the deep volley zone just behind the service line. From this position, if the lob is deep, you can move back a few steps and smash the overhead. If the lob is short, you can quickly move forward and easily put away the overhead. Remember, you're always looking to move forward first. Regarding placement, you're going to hit the ball near the netman or toward his side of the court since he's got less time to react. Hitting the ball hard back to the server gives her the chance of using your power and lobbing you again. Okay, let's recap. Hit your service return high and deep and get the ball out of the server's comfort zone. Somewhere up here where she can't drive it as hard or pass you. Then move to the deep volley zone just behind the service line and assess the situation. From this position, if she floats it up there, get in quickly, close on the net and spank that volley. If she lobs instead, you can move back a few steps and smash the overhead. You have neutralized her offensive position and you're now in control of the point. Go do it. Thanks for your comments and good luck in your matches.